great. Good. It was great. I love it. All right. Excellent. So, I like it because I ran yes, away to stand away food. from your body. Make sure your hips stay down. Don't roll off the ground. Stay glued. We went away to Santa Cruz for a couple of days when the web air was better, mm -hmm. and I took it with me. Good. Nice. It does travel well. You don't need too much. Yeah. Nope. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. What happened, Kim? I got a cramp. Oh, a cramp. I thought you said, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Doreen signed up again, but she's still didn't figure it out, I guess. Oh, well. Okay. This is really oh. difficult for people who aren't. I know used that are on this stuff. All right, let's take your leg across your body. Same thing. Keep your pelvis anchored down. We want to feel that stretch down the side of the thigh. So if you're not feeling it, you can play with the angle of your leg, how high you're bringing it up towards your face, how low you're bringing it down towards your opposite foot. You can also play with you keep a soft knee bend so that it's not stretching down in your ankle. We want it in the side of the thigh. Everybody's position slightly different and that is good. Where's your assistant today? He's wrapping up with our last client. Oh, yeah. nice. nice. So for this one, you said have the knee slightly bent? It, it depends, right? You want to feel the stretch from your buttocks to your knee down the side of your thigh. So to me, when I keep my legs straight, I actually feel it more in my like shin. And that's not where you want to feel it. So I keep a little bit of a soft knee. OK, let's go into figure four. It's better with the strap. This is the strap. If you don't, you can kind of let it go off to the side. That's so good to know about the soft knee um, on the last one. Yeah. Because I was always trying to keep my knee as straight as possible, but I could feel <coughs> really feel the difference when I did it with a soft knee. Good. On the side of my hip. Yeah. And the angle, right? Some people, you know, have their legs straight up at a 90 and then come across their body. Some people are more at a 45, and it's just wherever you feel the stretch the best. Yeah. Oh, this is wonderful. Good. I know it's been so fun getting everyone the game back together, huh? Oh, yeah, it is. It's great. It's the next best thing to being there in person. Yeah. Okay, switch legs back to the hamstring stretch. Has everyone been breathing okay with the air? No. I know, me neither. I actually have used my asthma inhaler a couple times. Oh, no. It's been bad. That's bad. I wear N95s almost all the time now. Yeah, but even my house, I think because my windows are old, it's not super airtight. Oh, yeah. I got two HEPA filters going in my house. That's good. That's smart. Yeah, I ordered one. Same here. I ordered a third. Uh, We've got uh, two. I ordered okay, let's take the leg away from the body, out to the side for that groin stretch. In fact, I brought the little one up here to the office to make sure I was not sucking in crap. <laughs> you exercise, good talk. <laughs> Thank you. 
So have people been feeling better getting back on track with the routine? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I got a couple of you to come back for physical therapy. So we're getting some one-on-one -on -one tune up that we need too, which is great. It is. Oh, that's great. good. Yeah. It's great. Everyone should do it. Okay, and then let's bring your leg across the body. Make sure your hips don't lift off the ground. I'm still too much of a chicken. That's all right. You got to do what you feel safe doing. I think that's the biggest thing right now. Everyone's got a different level they're comfortable with. Thank you. And I'm not forcing anyone to do anything. Yeah. Uh, people that are really particular I'm encouraging them to do the telehealth just because I can't guarantee someone be the first person of the day every single time they come in I can't guarantee them that there'll be not one other extra person in here because if someone's finishing up on ice or something right it's been a challenge but trying to keep keep the rules right we're all wearing masks all the time in here and wiping down literally every single thing that people touch <laughs> and which is pretty much everything <laughs> right okay so let's go into the figure four danielle you're doing a great job of keeping it all together i'm trying as long as i stay together i'm starting to go crazy here <laughs> What happened to Rebecca? So Rebecca had a couple of family emergencies come up during this COVID time. Her son, her daughter, and her dad all had a health issue come up. So she was kind of traveling all over the United States to deal with that. Oh. Um, her husband's working in the middle of nowhere in Alaska. So oh. um, she's been dealing with all the family emergencies on her own. And she's been wanting to phase out of physical therapy anyways, and she kind of has decided to go back to school to do health and wellness coaching. And so um, she said she'd cover this class if I was on vacation or something because she misses you guys too. But well, tell her we're thinking of her. We will. Yeah. And yeah. Here too. A lot less giggling going on these days. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and go into bridge. Let's just do, since this is a higher level today, let's just do three to five double leg bridges to kind of warm up your back and your buns, and then let's go straight into the figure four bridge, and we'll do the cross leg single leg bridge, but just do a couple to get your spine settled and get your hamstring cramps out and all that good stuff. And then once you feel settled, go ahead and cross your legs. That'll give me a cue that you guys are ready to begin. Kind of wait for everyone to get into that position. All right, so making sure we drive through the heel. And if you're not ready to progress, you can do double leg today. That's fine. All right, ready, go. So as we do the cross leg, we want to make sure the work's coming from our butt, the thigh, keeping our core tight. Try not to use the leg that's crossed very much. It's kind of resting up there. The other thing you gotta look at is to make sure your hips are staying level. So if you need to, you can put your hands right on your hip bones. Make sure they're staying level. I just have the timer running so you don't have to keep track of reps. If you get tired, just pause and rest. I'll let you know when we switch sides. Good. Everyone's pace is good. No one's going too fast. I like it. Okay. Slowly lower down. Uncross those legs. Switch legs. All right, when you're ready, same thing on this side. Keeping your core tight, pushing up from your backside, making sure your hips stay level, keep that core tight. We switch legs, right? Yeah, switch legs. Okay. I think everyone's, everyone's going good here.
Does everyone have their clam band nearby? Yep, clam band. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> All right, so let's get on our sides, hips stacked perpendicular, feet lightly resting together. And then make sure as you do your reps, every time you come back down, your hips go perpendicular. Now what today I want you to do is I want you to think about a nine second rep. So it's gonna take you three seconds to open. You're gonna hold for three seconds and three seconds to lower. So each rep should take nine seconds. So it should be very slow mode today. Okay? So whatever side you're on, you can start. Good. Is it burning more with this slower pace? Yes. Good. So let's go to the other side. You can either roll over or turn your feet to your head and your head to your feet. So if you want to stay facing the camera, it's up to you. Get those hips stacked. I can see everybody's good. Well, you don't want to see my butt. <laughs> Look at everyone else's. <laughs> All right, same thing. Nine seconds. Three seconds up. Hold three seconds. Three seconds down slow. As we go slower, you're probably going to notice there's more tension on the band. So make sure those hips stay stacked. Andrew, do you mind coming over here and taking over so I can do copay? Okay. Can you over? Okay. So they're doing clams. I did a minute, 15 seconds, so we'll stop them there. And then I was going to have, yes, yeah, so like another 10 seconds. Um, I want to do plank. I want to do three for 20 seconds of front plank on forearms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Andrew's going to take over for a second here, ladies. So Hello, ladies. Can Hello. Rest after this last rep here and take your time and untie yourself. <laughs> Probably tilt it down and then show them the option of forearm plank or knee. Right? I think my band was too weeny. All right. What's next? We're going to do planks. Okay. Well, this is let me lower the tape. That's off. <coughs> My mind got a little too. Okay. So with this one, you can either be on your toes or your knees, whichever is more comfortable for you. Coming in, keeping a straight line between your shoulders, your hips. Uh, so, your afternoon or morning, or morning. 
Are you going to time us or do you want? Yep, I'm going to have you guys going for 20 seconds three times. Right. Yes, no. Nice go. timer. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. Oh, I thought we were doing weren't doing it yet. I'm sorry. No worries. You have to go, say go for me. <laughs> All right, take a break out of it. That was 20 seconds. Okay, and we're gonna start another 20 seconds. Go. Five seconds. Remember to keep your bottom down in line with everything else. And come out of it. Take a pause. All right, we're going for another 20 seconds and go. Okay, and come out. So did you want after bridges? I mean, planks? Um, then it's up, it's the cap raises. Never way to see like me. Cap raises. All right, we're doing cap raises next. Coming on to our toes. Yeah. We're going to be standing with the chair. Yes, you're standing with the chair. Oh, okay. Oh. I'll be up in a minute. Have a cramp. Uh-oh. No water. Oh. <laughs> Okay, everyone's ready. Come up onto your toes, one foot. And then slowly come back down. Okay, we're gonna go 10 times on each leg. Two, one, and back down slow. All done. So double step. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pull up. Slow. Yep. You got it. Yep. Okay. Now, John Burke, you. Um, do you want to see all the spring opens up morning next week? Uh, yeah. Okay. So go to the waiting list, which is. How many are we doing on each side? We're going to 10 on each side. I really feel it when you go slow. Exactly. Yay, Daniel. <laughs> Andrew, I'm sorry. I don't know why I got Daniel. Interesting. Someone else actually called me Daniel as well. Maybe I look really? like Really? Okay, when you finish that first 10, go ahead and switch to the other foot. Okay. 
I lost everybody. We still see you, Kim. You get rid of the cramp? Yeah. Good. Let's see here. I got. I should be able to get you back. Huh. Is there a green button on the top left of your screen? I got ya. I got ya. There you go. Great. Everyone done with the heel raise? Yes. All right. Okay, we're gonna do double leg heel raise for 10 as well. This might be a little easier. And induction squats. I think you are see like five. grab a chair, grab a band. He's just gonna do the last one. Okay. I'm running low on juice. Okay, do you care if I go to lunch? No, go for it. Yeah. All righty. We're going to everyone get their band, their small band. We're going to do our squats with the chair. Where do you want the band? Above our knees. Okie dokie. I like to go to that red one was too. I'm dealing with some funky bands. I must have to come by and get some from you guys. Yeah, I got a new one, Gail, and it's, it's really good. Oh, yeah. good. I got to plug you in, so I'm taking you guys on a little road trip here. Is that about right? Yeah. Or sitting down. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
harder, more challenging option in terms of dynamic. Oh, maybe. Blocking side steps. So if you look at it, oh. going across the room, and you oh. have five steps to the right, five steps to the left. Oh, everyone's keeping your knees so straight. Okay, good. Keep your knees straight. Knees yep, relatively knees straight. straight. You want the work to come from the side of your butt cheeks. Good. Everyone chose the more challenging option. Good. I didn't know if everyone had room to move or talk. <laughs> we lost Samantha. Now she's back. <laughs> good. And everyone looks like you're doing a good job of controlling the band, not letting the band control you. And everyone's kind of going different lengths here. So once you start to feel a healthy burn in the side of your butt cheeks, go ahead and rest. And then the next question is, does everyone have a small hand weight available, like a two pounder or a three pounder? Yes. Yeah. Small what? Dumbbell weight. So yeah. you could do a soup can, a three pound dumbbell, a five pound dumbbell. I have two and a half pounds. Okay, your ankle weights, that works. Perfect. Carolyn, how about you? Yes, I do. All right, great. <clears throat> All right, so grab your one. We need at least one weight. It can be in one hand at a time. Do we still have the ankle band on? No, you can untie yourself. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't really see the. <laughs> okay, so can you guys all see Andrew? He's going to demo the next one. Okay. Have your weight in your hand. Uh huh. Here with your elbow bent. And then straighten it behind you. Okay. Yeah, everybody wants to get rid of this thing, right? This is what helps that. We need a tricep. Okay. Keep your upper arm glued to your side. Right? All the movement's going to happen in your elbow. So you're just going to straighten the elbow, bend your oh. the upper arm doesn't move. And you notice how he's kind of tilted forward on a 45 degree angle because then he's lifting this against gravity. Oh, I see. So if you're standing upright, it doesn't work very well. So you need to lean forward a little more. There you go. Oh, I see, I see, okay. Slow it down, Gail. Squeeze it back, okay. release it down slow, yeah. And don't worry so much on the bending forward. The goal is more to lift it back against gravity. Oh, Andrew's tricep. How's everyone else's? We've got a little burn in the back of the arm? Uh-huh. Yeah. Huh. Right. You're feeling a burn? We'll switch sides. And Lori, if you can't put the weight on your arm, you can just be, you know, bent over. You don't have to put your weight on your other arm. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. No, I can't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Your elbow glued by your side, and all the motion should come from your elbow. It's like all that moose is the. Uh joint at the elbow. The movement's all from the elbow, yeah. This is for your tricep, which is a yep. elbow okay. extensor. But I know this is a muscle group that all of us ladies would like to be nicer, so I know we're running out of tank top season weather, but... And gentlemen. <laughs> Andrew likes the burn. Gentlemen want to lose that too. <laughs> Thank you. 
get some, some lighter weights at home. Oh, it's 12 pounders. That's not going to work for this. <laughs> okay, good. We get a good burn on both sides? Uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> So I want to finish with a balance exercise. Okay. So stand somewhere where you have some room, but maybe there's something if you need to hang on to it for balance. Okay. Let's see. What was ahead of this one? Help me up this Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand heel toe. Uh -huh. I'd like it if you cannot hold on. Okay, so, but have something there to grab that solid. And what I want you to do is on your own pace, super slow, with your eyes open, you're gonna turn over one shoulder, slowly come back to the middle, turn and look over the other shoulder. I want you to do there and back is one, 10 head, five head turns, and then you're gonna switch your feet with the opposite foot in front, and we're gonna do five head turns. So slowly over one shoulder to the other. Oh, it's tough. It's really hard. Head turns, and this is why Going to the grocery store, sometimes everybody gets dizzy because it's the head turns looking for the cans on this side of the aisle and then the cans on that side of the aisle. <laughs> and people with vertigo have a really hard time at the grocery store because of that. I see lots of wobbles, this is good. Yeah, this is hard. that you lose it when it comes to balance, so. This is harder than standing on the half black roller. Yeah, because you, you're using your vision to help correct your balance. Oh. Because I, I ordered a half black one. Um, Are we switching yet? You were supposed to do five head turns and then switch your foot. Oh, okay. I did my five. Wow. Whoa, this is really hard. And you're probably better in one pattern than the other, right? Everyone's different. The other leg was better. Oh, oh I can't hold this. I know all your weaknesses. <laughs> You know us, that's for sure. Oh. Oh. Once you've done five head turns to each side, you can rest. And then we'll finish with calf stretch or rudder stretch. So wall, couch, chair, something. Do a little cool down with some stretching here. You know, it's weird. How come I'm so close up and everybody else is far away? It depends oh. on where you put your camera. <laughs> Let's see if this makes it. Maybe everybody has their... And also different cameras have different time zoom. So a cell phone. Well, I had to have it plugged in for a bit. Yeah. And the front knee shouldn't go past the toes, right? It shouldn't. So make sure you make your stride long enough, exactly. And then make it's sure right. your back foot is not towing out as well. You want to make sure your toes are straight ahead on both the front foot and the back foot. 10 more seconds and we'll switch sides. Okay, let's go ahead and switch sides. 
So nice stride length, back heel driving into the ground, both feet straight ahead, your hips straight ahead. So I'll try to get the recording from today up this evening by about eight o'clock or so. So if you guys want to do it later this week, cool. I'm going to keep the, the core exercises the same, but allow, you know, little free time here at the end to do a few different things just to give you options. And the ones you find the most challenging should be the ones you do the most. <laughs> Five seconds. And that's a wrap. Oh, yay. 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 Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Danielle. I'll be on time next week. I'm sorry, but we went a little longer here on the end, so we got our full time in. Don't worry. Oh, All right. Thank you, Andrew. Have a good Bye. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. bye. Thursday. Have a great day.